weeks and five days today and I am losing daylight it's already like almost eight o'clock so I'm back in my old spot so that way I can try to get like a little bit more sunlight before the Sun goes down anyway sorry I'm doing this video late yet again but I have a reason this time I was gonna make it earlier in the week but my midwife appointment wasn't until today and I was like really like there's not much to update on until I go to that appointment so I was like I'm just gonna have to do it last minute one more time so I am like I said 16 weeks and five days today my symptoms this week have been pretty similar to what they've kind of been the last couple weeks my headaches still I have them every single day all day long like I wake up in the morning with a massive headache and I have it all day long until I go to bed but last week in my last video I had a lot of people telling me to look out for preeclampsia because apparently that's like a really big sign along with like my hands and feet swelling and I've just been having a lot of like weird symptoms so I did want to touch base on that just a little bit preeclampsia to my knowledge is like hand in hand with high blood pressure and I have really really low blood pressure not like bad low blood pressure but I always have like really good blood pressure I always have my whole life in this pregnancy has I've all I've still had low blood low blood pressure but I have an aunt who does have high blood pressure and she carries around a um, monitor to check her blood pressure every so often so I saw her this last week and I asked her to bring it just to kind of like check up on it a couple times a day because it doesn't hurt so I did I took it several times that day and when I took it the first time that I took it it was one 11 over 65 I believe and then I took it I stood up for a while and walked around and did that kind of stuff and I took it again while I was standing up and it was 90 over 60 so I have pretty good blood pressure like I high blood pressure isn't a problem for me and it hasn't been yet it still has been very consistently low at the same same rate it's pretty much been forever so when I brought that up to my midwife she said that she does not think I am at risk for preeclampsia just based on those symptoms she said that the headaches could be related to either the heat or allergies because I do get really bad allergies just like throughout the year um, however I've had allergies my whole life and I've never had headaches so that's kind of still up in the air it might just be one of those things that just sucks like you just have this pregnancy symptom and it sucks and it's not gonna go away but I'm keeping an eye on it she did suggest that I take allergy medicine to see if that helps I also talked about my varicose veins with her and how bad they are and how like they've literally like tripled she said that the fact that they are all on my left side is a high indicator that I really really need to see a chiropractor so she highly recommended that I go see a chiropractor so I'm going to do that and I've been meaning to do it for years I've had I think she actually suggested it with my pregnancy with Landon too and I just never got around to it um, but I am seriously gonna go like I know people swear by chiropractors and I've never ever been one I was a dancer my whole life I had a bad back before I had any kids because of that and now with my stomach muscles being torn my diastasis that I have is another reason that my back is all thrown off that and just being pregnant and having my fifth child all of those things my back is just taking a lot my body just needs to be readjusted so I'm definitely gonna be seeing a chiropractor also um, she gave me my paper result for my um, NT scan she already told me that everything was normal but she gave me an actual like copy of it the paper that I got said that I had have like a one in 100,000 chance or something like that so basically everything came back negative with that so that's good to hear we did get to hear the baby's heartbeat at the appointment she said it sounded like it was in the 160s which is where it's been pretty much forever it's been very consistently in the 160s on top of that I finally ordered a fetal monitor a fetal Doppler a Doppler a heartbeat Doppler what is that called a fetal heartbeat Doppler so I got that in the mail this week and I was super excited to use it and it works It took me a while at first to find the baby's heartbeat, but I did and it was so awesome to hear I'll go ahead and attach a video for you guys real quick. I just have a short little snippet Every time I check it the baby's heartbeat is usually around 160 sometimes it's a little bit lower sometimes it's a little bit higher um, but it's generally very consistently around 160s which is perfect perfect little strong heartbeat and I try not to use it too much because I know it's not great to have that kind of like radiation over your stomach all the time so far since I've gotten it I think I've used it three times I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys 
what the Doppler looks like, but I just got it from eBay. That was the cheapest place I could find it, and it looks just like this. It is the Sonalign B Pocket Fetal Doppler, and like I said, I just got it off eBay. They have like a million choices on there, and it comes with this little like tube of like gel for your stomach, so that way you can like move the thing around, but it's super easy. You just push the button, and as you saw in the video, this goes straight on your stomach, just like the doctor's office. And I don't think it's as strong as the doctor's office one, but since I'm already 16 weeks, it's not super hard to find the heartbeat. And a friend of mine actually came over, and she is, she was 13 weeks, and asked if I could try to find it, and we did, we did find it at 13 weeks. So, seems pretty cool, it's legit. I'm happy that I decided to purchase it. It'll be, it'll just be nice to have. But other than that, that was pretty much it. At my appointment the only other thing that came up was my weight because at the beginning of this pregnancy I've mentioned this a few times at the beginning of this pregnancy my starting weight was 150 at this point I'm 16 weeks almost 17 weeks and I weigh 152 so I've only gained two pounds up to this point and she was a little bit concerned about that and she said that I really should gain 10 pounds by my 20th week so she's like in the next month I would be really happy if you gained seven pounds but I haven't been like starving myself obviously I've been eating normal I've been eating regularly so I think that might have something to do with maybe just my starting weight being a little bit higher um, than my past pregnancies because I've always started but before I always started around 135 So I do weigh a little bit more at the beginning of this pregnancy than I have in past pregnancies She, she told me if I ever have any cravings or if I'm ever hungry just to eat my little heart out Because she would be really not obviously not like bad stuff But she really wants me to gain another seven pounds in the next four weeks Which is like I don't even know if that's possible, but I guess we'll see She also did say that she really wants me to make sure that I'm wearing some kind of pregnancy belly support 24 7 well not 24 7 but like all day long because my diastasis like I've mentioned before my muscles are torn down the middle and there it's really bad and now that I'm pregnant it's just like even worse she told me to make sure that I'm wearing some kind of pregnancy support belt as often as I can, as well as uh, the compression stockings for my varicose veins. And also for the varicose veins, she recommended something called varicosity, I believe. It's like a tincture, is that how you say it? Tincture. It's basically just like this little bottle of um, stuff that's supposed to help your varicose veins. I'm not really sure how or why, but I'm going to look into it and I'm going to get one because at this point I'm willing to do anything for these terrible varicose veins. So that I need to purchase and my compression stocking, she said make sure I'm wearing them as often as I can because that will definitely help a lot. Other than that, I can't think of much else to update on. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I will go ahead and show you guys my 16 week belly which I forgot to measure last week but that was because I was in a hurry and my camera was dying so I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So obviously with the shirt on you can't really see anything but here's here's with the shirt up 16 weeks and five days. As you can tell my umbilical hernia because I did have one after I had the twins, it's like coming back because my belly button usually pops when I'm pregnant and so it's like a mixture of wanting to pop out and like my hernia coming back I think. So it just looks super awkward but yeah. That's from the front, that is from the side. I feel like when I'm, cause right now I'm on my knees, when I, when I, I feel like when I'm on my knees it makes my stomach look different than when I'm standing up. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but this camera's already down here and I really don't want to move it, <laughs> so sorry. Hopefully that doesn't affect any sort of like measuring. So 16 weeks I am at, it looks like I'm about maybe just slightly over 35 and a half. Grown just a tiny, tiny bit. So that is it for this week, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will try to answer all those questions for you. Also, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have Snapchat now. So all of those links will be down below. So I will talk to you guys next week for week 17. Bye. But like no part of me should fit into an extra small. I finally found a cute, or I think they're cute anyway, gender neutral set of onesies.